Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to some late night hype and mind vanilla. How goes it? Been a little bit while since we've been here, but uh, you know things have been happening, stuff and things. And uh, we're just in one of the little mountainy hills overlooking the entrance because we've got plans for these places as well. Uh, but we need to bring that mountain a little bit more even with it before we can actually start. Yeah, so we're going to have to cut away that river and a little bit of terraforming. All this needs to change. All of this. Most of that is going. There's lots of things happening. Anyway, that is by the by. We've been chopping down some spruce. Spruce. And uh, we're going to need to get some birch as well. But uh, that probably wait. There we go. Gonna, oh my goodness, a little ghetto tree farm over here. I'm, I'm tempted to make a, a more automatic one. I really actually want to build a wither, wither tree farm at some point. That, I think, would probably be one of the greatest things that we could possibly build. Where are you? Jeez. This place is dangerous. Yep, definitely going to need more uh, saplings. It's the only problem with planting these so close to the oak is that you're not going to get as many saplings. I think there is a birch forest nearby which we can probably loot and pillage to get the rest of what we want. But for now this will probably do. I think I'm out of saplings entirely actually. Ah, uh, no, no, we got some in there, that's fine. Let's just clear this out so it starts going. Alright, you'd think that'd be faster. I think at some point, actually, we will want to um, shear some of these leaves. get myself another sword now. Whoops. <laughs> that was a that was a bit of a misjudgment. There were eight trees. Eight trees. Let's see if we can get eight saplings from this. Eh, probably not. <clears throat> We're going to head back to topside and we can see where what I've done so far. Uh, drop that like that. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. We were visited by our good friend Elpen Knackers. He's been just playing around. All right. Oh yeah, I don't have a sword. Hmm. <clears throat> so I've started to build some encasing buildings for these areas. Uh, this is the elevator shaft. Oh, I want to cough so badly. <laughs> One second. Here we go. I'm still alive, somehow. Uh, you can't really see the design from this bit. To give you a better idea. So, I kind of like the whole birch uh, roof, but I wanted a little bit of character for it. So, I've added this sort of spruce trim to the end here. Sort of to go with the rest of our building types that we've, we've been using spruce quite a lot. Because it works out really well. Uh, and also, because we used birch with the the observatory building itself, I thought, well, it's probably best if we just continue that. <clears throat> and I wanted... I wanted the spruce. So we can do... Nope. No, no, no. Fish. 
<laughs> Fish offerings. Come on, Bruce. This is made a little bit difficult because this is freaking uh, slabs. Slabs. All the way around. So I had to incorporate that into what I was actually doing. Let's get rid of that. I don't know why I got rid of that actually. That's kind of stupid. few other difficulties um, once we get further up. <clears throat> so as you can see Drax came and took his uh, his beacon which is fine that's all right it was totally expected it is his beacon after all No, not bacon. Beacon. That is a little bit, a little bit less interesting, right? <laughs> no, beacons are less interesting than bacon. Tower is going to be interesting. At the top, it's going to be slightly different. I did just have a moment where I was like, "How did I do that other side?" You know what, let's put one in anyway. Make sure. Yeah, yeah, that works out because the tower actually intersects the whole building. So now the spruce should be going into that. Perfect, perfect. Did I do? I did cobble here. Yeah. Okay, good. Gives it a little bit more, more life. And I added some cracked bricks and whatnot around here. Probably want to do... I want to go around pretty much after I'm done. And uh, add little character touches like that. Just a little mossy brick here and there. Gives the place an aged feel. Dwarven cities are like a good whiskey, well aged. That's right. Did that same thing twice. Yeah. Ooh, slightly different this time. Right, let's go take a look at that from way over here. 
Okay, so aside from that, that is pretty much what I want. Just realized this is wrong. That should be. Do I have any smooth snow? No. Okay. Should be like that, and then these. Like that. Where is it? Zombie? Is he in the workings for this thing? Mm, we may have to go through that a bit later at some point. <clears throat> See what's going on there. Yep, so that should be okay now. Uh, right, wait, 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 wait. We're going to be mixing and matching woods a little bit. Just to add the variety that we want. These buildings are mostly going to be the same. Uh, but we're going to be putting in nice little touches for each one. Dark oak. That's what we want. want a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Elb helpfully donated this um, small port. A bit of dirt. Which uh, went into helping make the foundation for this. If you remember, there was not much here. should be mostly cliff face over here and then we can do the supports a bit probably do them this episode we'll do that shortly like that about the spruce And actually, we'll do it here as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, another cough session coming on. It wasn't bad that time. Like eight minutes before I had to do my impression of a 40 a day smoker. Alright, sorry, Al. Uh, we need to remove that. It's all getting carpeted this whole thing all the way into here. Okay. So I wanted the dark oak for support beams. We'll do one. Hmm. We do one every five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, well, six. One, two, three, four, five. Two, two. Ah, oh, that works out. That works out. It's pretty much exactly what I wanted. Now we got to go do it on the other one as well. Chink. If we do this on each end and then we do one in one in the middle ish, that should be good enough. That zombie is really getting on my nerves. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten does not give us a good spread. So let's do three that side and three that side. Excellent. I don't think anything can spawn up there. It's it's two blocks, okay. Yeah, things could probably spawn up there. Mm -hmm.
Ah, right, okay. Keep forgetting that. Torches can't go on the back of uh, stairs. Because that was like something I actually wanted to do previously. If I can jump up there, someone can spawn up there. But not anymore. I'm going to do the same over here. Almost a disapproving look from my chief design officer. <laughs> Why are you using so many stone bricks? What is wrong with you? Oh yes. So yes, Cat and I have been quite ill for quite some time now, and it's really, really annoying. Yeah, a week. That's like forever. Alright. So we need to clean up in here a little bit. I have a magical shovel. Need to look at a roof for this thing. Okay, so what I want here is I need fence posts. I think I have quite a few floating about. Do I not have fence posts floating about? I do not. Alright, well. Luckily. Fence gates. That's fence posts. Let's just get a little bit more dirt. to work out the next bit. <clears throat> I'm going to start on that and I think I'll bring you in closer to it and finish because it's going to be a little bit of trial and, trial and error and it's not going to be interesting to watch me do that. Back in a second. Sometimes <laughs> the price for having a vision of how something is going to go or how you would want it to go is that you have to compromise on that little on that vision which is pretty much what happened here. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. Of course. Let's, let's just see if we can pop on top here. That's going to land down the middle, isn't it? Oh, so close. Okay. So, yeah, I wanted a nice... Uh, that's just me. 
Oh, is it a nice pointer top on this? And I've pretty much got that. I've pretty much got what I wanted. Um, let's go over yonder. I think I'll change that for a birch fence, actually. Um, yeah, pretty much got what I wanted. The Because there is going to be a beacon beam that goes all the way up through that. And I'm thinking I will use slabs to just extend that whole lip out a little bit more. Or maybe drop it, use slabs, drop it down another half block or so. No, I can't. No, I don't want to do that because then I'll have to light it all up, and that's that's definitely not what I want. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't think it looks too bad. I wish the tower was just a slight bit bigger, so I didn't have to have these flat bits at the top here. But I'll make it not full peak. No, I want it to be full peak. Oh, I'll just make the the roof wider. I'm not going to make the roof wider. That's just silly. Right, then it it's already wide. five wide on a three wide thing. Making it seven wide on a three wide thing would be ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, definitely going to replace that with a birch fence there. Colour matching. The inside can still be uh, oak. I'm happy with that. Definitely want. Uh, yes, yeah, no, no, we can't do anything about that. Yeah. And we just need to clean up the inside. Some of that. That keeps it sort of lit. And that can pop down to here. This also gives us a little thing that we can use for maybe a little chandelier or something. Before we go any further, so that needs to be spruce. Will that be noticeable? It would be noticeable. If somebody was underneath it for some reason. I'll have to figure something out for the roof itself so that Hmm. 
There'll be ways and means. There'll be ways and means. Alright. <clears throat> and now we will want to bring this up. We use what we've already got. Just put it away. Some of that. Don't think we're gonna need more than that, but let's just let's be cautious. So we don't need any lighting down here in particular because this is all getting covered up. I'll leave that there for now. Alright. <clears throat> so beacon light comes up here, goes up through that. Let's move this. I can close that up. Uh, the whole place is done. Mm, it might be easier to work on it from up there. Get my chicken all. Say so it's supposed to come here. Here is where things are going to get interesting. This might work out perfectly. In fact, pretty much does. That is awesome. Okay. So, block and half up. this in here. This in here. And we might drop something up from down there. I can get rid of this. What we'll need is a few Fences. Did I put fence away? Did put fence away. <coughs> oh, coughed on camera. That works out fantastically. 
next. There shouldn't be anything dark enough for something to spawn in. We've got room for the beacon light to go up. We will have to work out something here. Let's let's try this. with that. I don't think there's much more that can be done for that without making it a bit weird. In fact, it's already a bit weird that that comes... Is that actually visible from the outside? Ah, but it's... Mm. Maybe we remove this and do that here. Yeah, yeah. So our, uh, time is running on a bit. I've just sort of blathered around. <clears throat> so we will have to get to that in the next episode. And then the episode after that, we're going to take a quick break from the old dwarf city. And we're going to go back into town. There's lots of developments in town. So we're going to check that out and catch up with the rest of our hyper miners. And when we get back to the Dwarf City, there will be some progress. And we'll work on the residential district, I believe. Or the bridge. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bridge and the surrounding areas. So thanks for watching, everybody. You've been a fantastic audience, as always. And I'll see you next time. Adios.